Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with another entry for my giveaway challenge. Uh, this came today from Anna, and she is Anna's Wonderland on Instagram. Um, I'm not 100% sure if she does have a YouTube channel, but I'll, I will put her information down below. Um, she did have this box wrapped in this really pretty holographic gift wrap. I did, however, open it up just so I could get the box open and ready for the video. Anna, thank you for taking the time to wrap the box. The paper was beautiful, and I'm super excited to see what you sent me. Now she did send me this adorable little card which will go on my bulletin board because this is so cute. A little zebra in a tutu and it says so sweet. And she just put a little note on there for me. Now she did not list her uh, her information but I will put that down below. So Anna thank you for taking the time to enter my challenge. I'm super excited to see what you sent me. Um, she did say that she made me a Halloween project which is perfect because I love Halloween and I'm getting ready to start my Halloween crafting. Um, so in here she has some pink tissue and she has this really pretty like fine like iridescent pink shred. Um, it's like it's almost like Easter grass that we buy at Easter time but it's much thinner. It's so pretty and I've never seen anyone use anything like that quite like that anyway for uh, packaging. So I'm going to try to save that and use that for um, some additional Happy Meal in the future. All right, so I'm excited to see what she sent me. And again, it is Halloween related, so I'm excited to see what what she made. Okay, so she, she sent me a lot of goodies. Thank you so much, Anna. This is really adorable. I don't know what collection this is. I'm not familiar, but it's super cute. Whatever I'm looking at is super cute. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to get everything out of the way so I can show you one by one. All right, so it looks like she sent me some extra goodies and an embellishment box. Um, the first thing is wrapped in this really pretty uh, iridescent little bag, and it's a Hello Kitty. So let me see what this is exactly. It's a little container. So yeah, this bag is super pretty. I will obviously reuse that. Okay, so this is a little Hello Kitty box. Oh, it's beads. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. She sent me some really pretty beads. Oh, I love this one here. This like berry bead. It's got the iridescent and then that um, glittered bead. She sent me some like pom-pom beads and some pony beads. Thank you so much. And then there's two little containers. Okay, and she, oh, this is like an embellishment box, like a little mini, mini embellishment box. Okay, so then she sent me some charms. This little star one is super, it's like a little star wand. And she sent me a little, I think this is a cloud. And some of these little like flat backs that we can find at Hobby Lobby now. She also sent me some spacer beads and some um, garment pins. A nice little selection of, of, of little knickknacks in here. A little square uh, charm and some also some space, yeah, some spacer beads and some heart beads. And a little teeny tiny little heart locket uh, charm that is super tiny. Thank you so much. This is the cutest little embellishment box. And then in the other one, she sent me some flat back dummies. Some blue and pink and this clear one with like an iridescent shimmer and um, oh okay so she also sent me some little um, sequin clusters on like heart I've never had anyone send me something like that before that's such a good idea and now I can just attach it right onto a project thank you for making those for me and then also just some additional little flatbacks yeah so there's like a nice little selection of colors Thank you so much. This is adorable and I love this little container. So cute. So, so cute. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these envelopes one by one. Now again, I'm not familiar with what collection this is or um, if you printed these out and colored them yourself. Um, this is super cute. I love this little, this little um, clothespin. It looks, it looks kind of like a marshmallow, <laughs> but it's super cute. I love that. And then she did a really pretty bag topper. She used one of those really pretty holographic um, doilies, and then she paired it up with another doily that she might have die cut herself. I'm not sure. I've never seen um, one shaped like that. 
Um, and then she had a really pretty pink pumpkin and a little spider, a pink spider and a white, a blue spider and some like cheesecloth. And then on the back, she put spooky. This is such a cute little bag topper. Thank you so much. I can definitely reuse that. <clears throat> and then, okay, this is so cool. She took some book pages from an old book and she sewed them to create this little envelope. And she added some ruffle trim, which did get a little smushed um, down at the bottom. Okay, and it says Marshmallow Man, Monster. It's like a little um, card. And then also like a casket-shaped ephemera piece. And then that little marshmallow guy again. This is so cute. Again, I don't know what collection this is. This is really pretty. All right, and then in here, she sent me some... Let's see, some little ruffles. Let's see what these are. I love these little iridescent, ba uh, iridescent bags again. Okay, so she sent me some paper ruffles that she's embellished. These are just so cute. I love this. She sewed those with some really pretty pink thread. And she just layered up some um, little bits that say dream and a ticket and a little lollipop. Cute little um, badge like an award badge and then a little milkshake and a cookie and a little um, candy corn. And she did that on some ruffled trim, uh, on some ruffled crepe paper, or on top of the, um, the paper ruffle. Okay, so she's got some really nice layers here. So cute. And then this one, she did the same thing, the ruffled paper on the ruffled um, crepe paper. And then she uh, embellished this really well with um, some little bits, a little spider and this little character here and then like a gumball machine which is full of eyeballs. <laughs> and then this really cute little plaque of like a pigeon or a bird and it says love this. This is really cute. I've never seen this collection before so it's really really cute to see something different in person. I'm going to put those back in here. This is just such a cool little envelope. I love that you use some old book pages. I really need to go to the thrift store and find some old books because this is like yellowed and aged. I love that look. And then this really pretty bag topper again. This is so cute. I love this. Okay, and then she sent me another little envelope like that with another clip on it. That says pumpkin. And then another little bag topper. This one she added some cheesecloth onto. Oh, she did have it on the other as well. This one's just like a bigger piece. So cute. I love that. Oh, and on the back she put the little bat stamp. Okay, and again, this really pretty little envelope made out of book pages, and she's just added some embellishments and then some of that um, crepe paper ruffle. And then she added this really thin, like, holographic thread, if you can see that. It's really pretty. Okay, and then in here she put some additional ruffles. Okay, so awesome. I love these. And I'm just getting in the hang of like getting the hang of making these paper ruffles. I made a bunch of them the other day, which I really need to share with you guys, but I haven't had a chance to film a video for it yet. But I made a bunch um, for a swap that I'm doing with a friend of mine, like a summer theme. And I really need to wrap that up because <laughs> it's almost the end of summer. Um, okay, so here's another one she did again on the crepe paper and the paper ruffle. I love this little girl in the middle. She's super cute. She's got blue skin. Kind of reminds me of um, Beetlejuice, the, the secretary um, that was in the uh, Afterworld. <laughs> she had the, the blue skin, I think it was. All right, and I love all of these little icons. And she added this purple Starburst die cut on there. Super, super cute. I love these so much, Anna. And then this one has the little... It looks like a pigeon to me, but I'm not sure. A little bird with a little party hat. And it says spooky and then little tickets. Yeah, this is just a really, really cute little collection. Thank you so much. I love these little die cuts. Or, I mean, these little paper ruffles. And I don't have a lot of them in my stash because I've only just learned how to make them myself. And not a lot of people have sent them to me. So it's nice to have some in, in my stash now. I can definitely use those as bag toppers for some upcoming um, Halloween Happy Meal. I really, really appreciate that. I know how time consuming it is to make those. 
this is just such a cute little collection. Okay, she also made me a little like wand. It looks like a lollipop. So she put it in um, like that ir that iridescent bag and she has it on a straw so it looks like a lollipop. I really don't want to open it, it's so cute. But it looks like there's some tool in there and a ticket and this little character here. And then on the back there is um, some more of those little spiders and she added some more starburst die cuts. Sorry if I'm not in frame, there we go. So cute. It looks like a lollipop. I love that so much, thank you. And then she sent me also this little box here. Now I believe this might be one of those boxes that we were hauling from Dollar Tree and she basically, she made a sleeve for it. She added a double rosette, a pink and a mint rosette and your rosettes are so nice. I don't know if you like double or triple them up, but they're that nice and fluffy. And then she also added some little flat back pearls and some more words and this really pretty little milkshake and she added some glitter to that. And then on the front she added another one of those little marshmallow guys, an eyeball, looks like a candy. And then a pumpkin ephemera. So she just kind of has it wrapped around. And then this one on the other side says boo. So I'm guessing this just slides out, yep, okay. All right, and then in this little box, she has made me some handmade bows. These are super cute. I love this die, this um, bow die that you have with the little, it looks like hearts. Yeah, like hearts or pumpkins almost. If you can see that, really, really pretty. I love how she made one that's got like the little eyeball candy and then the little candy gumball machine with eyeballs in it. <laughs> This is such a cute and fun collection. You're going to have to tell me what collection this is. It's super, super cute. Okay, she has some other bows on this side as well. Um, one with like this little blob guy. He doesn't look like he's very happy. <laughs> and then this little pink spider. Super cute. I love these bows. And all the fun crinkle shreds she put in here. The mint and the green and uh, iridescent. Okay, and then in the middle, she added one of these little tags that I can use on a project. Okay, and then she also sent me some ruffled crepe paper that she has sewn. So this will definitely come in handy for not only Halloween, for some pastelloween projects, but also for anything Christmas that I use with pink or anything in the future. So thank you so much for sending that to me. Anna, this is a beautiful entry. I really appreciate everything that you sent me. It's all super, super cute, and I just love it. I can't wait to display this little box. And it definitely gets me in the mood for Halloween crafting. So I will link her information below, and if anyone has any questions, please let me know. Anna, again, thank you. If anyone hasn't already, I'd greatly appreciate if you'd consider subscribing, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye, guys.